I'm on lunch, honey, trying to go and record this video. And my gaslight is on. Honey, who is about to be breaking down, running out of gas in the Burger King drive through Not me. Everybody pray that I don't break down in the Burger King drive through Like, that is traumatizing and not cute. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, why? <laughs> Oh, I came to snatch wig, shoddy. Now let's go. Hey, shoddy, welcome back to my channel. My name is Tiana, and if you're new here, hey, boo. Whoever you are, wherever you are, I hope you're having a great day. I hope you're in a good mood, all that mushy, gushy, gushy stuff. Before we go ahead and get into today's video, if you enjoy my vibes, if you enjoy my energy, please go ahead and subscribe to my channel. As usual, I would greatly appreciate it. Please also don't forget to leave me a like and a comment. I would greatly appreciate those as well. And with all that being said, let's go ahead and get into today's video. Okay, so for today's video, I finally, finally, finally caught a trend one time. But I don't know, this trend doesn't seem to be on and popping unless I'm really, really early because it does not seem to be advertised very greatly that's the first thing i'm noticing and a lot of other people are noticing it too but i'm not hired on nobody's market department nobody's marketing team so that ain't none of my business okay i have to be quick if it feels rushed i'm really sorry but i'm on lunch and i only have like 20 minutes left to like eat and do a whole video honey they have three meals in total i chose to do the chase hudson meal it's a spicy chicken sandwich and i believe it only comes with cheese i chose to add mayo and i chose to add pickles but i believe it also comes with a spicy sauce on it or something like that and instead of fries it comes with a four-piece mozzarella stick and it also also comes with a chocolate shake now the reason why I'm so excited to try his meal more than any other meal is because I've been wanting to try the spicy chicken sandwich and I've never had their mozzarella sticks and I've never had their chocolate shake so this is actually new to me now if I was a regular at Burger King and I've had all this stuff before I'm sure I would not probably be excited about it this is just marketing like the same with McDonald's they're not adding anything special to make it something special and I wish they would really do that like they need to stop Ooh, so I'm gonna go ahead and dig into this. Oh, it looks so cute. Okay, we're just about to get messy. Okay, so this is what the sandwich is given, honey. The sandwich is so it has spicy sauce on it. I added mayonnaise and I added pickles. Oh, they gave me two pieces of cheese. Oh. And the Burger King man was flirting with me. Is that how I got two pieces of cheese? Because I'm on a popping way. It, it looks so good. And then it's just a four piece mozzarella stick. I also did make time to go to the gas station before I went to Burger King. That's honestly why I'm running behind. Well, and because Burger King is slow. So I stopped at the gas station. So I went ahead and got me some of the drink because I knew it only came with a shake. Okay, so the sandwich is good. The sandwich is good. It's thick. Okay, so let's try these mozzarella sticks. I don't know how much time I got left. I hope I have at least 10 minutes left. Let me try it without the sauce. Um... Uh-uh, this is disrespectful. Look at that. That look like fish mouth. Honey, no type of cheese pool will ever be had with these type of mozzarella sticks. Disrespectful. I have exactly 10 minutes left. For fast food, I mean, these are pretty average. These are pretty regular. Like, could they put some actual cheese in here? Yes, they could. Don't be disrespectful. As far as, like, the taste-wise for fast food, like, me just going to get some mozzarella sticks, they are right. And the last thing we're gonna try is this chocolate shake. This chocolate shake, it seemed a little watery, and um, I don't know how I feel about that. Okay. That's good. That's good. See, that's good. It seemed thin. Do I need chapstick? See, don't be disrespectful. That tastes like a regular chocolate shake, like a good chocolate shake. I watched this other guy's review. He was dragging Burger King. He was like, nah, this is straight trash. I'm not feeling this sandwich. And I'm just like, that sandwich looks pretty good. That is actually really good to me. That chicken, it's a noun. 
honey. Freshly hand breaded in our kitchen. Thick cut with two C's. Delicious. No, I'm just playing. I ain't put that. <laughs> Thick cut. Delicious white meat chicken. Juicy, crispy, and crunchy. Your way way better see number four is your way way better so that means that i was right to add mayonnaise and pickles duh i knew i was right it says juicy crispy and crunchy it is juicy and it actually is crispy a lot of people's chicken sandwiches don't really be crispy and this chicken sandwich is actually crispy listen to this Did you hear it? I would give this whole meal a seven out of 10. It's only a seven because the mozzarella sticks was slightly disrespectful. You know what, no, I would give it, I would give it eight out of 10 because I love cheese. So I'm taking two points off for, actually I'm taking one point off for all the shenanigans that was going on up in Burger King. And the second point I'm taking off is for the mozzarella sticks because they actually need some cheese. Mm. So I'm back. Almost actually caught me slipping that time. My doors were not locked. So I just want to do my outro real quick. Like I said, it's an eight out of 10. Like I have never had any of the desserts, but this chocolate shake is really good. I think I will definitely get the chicken again. Of course, somebody gotta come creeping through the parking lot while I'm being weird, trying to record an outro. Please don't pull up beside me. There's three trucks pulling up in this parking lot. All right, everybody remain calm. I'm on my business, I'm staring. My man just whipped out a cooler. It's three men, three trucks. One of them got a cooler. Anyway, if I was to get the little Huddy meal again, I think next time I would definitely get the fries instead of mozzarella sticks. I see what they tried to do there because the mozzarella sticks probably don't sell because they don't have cheese. If you was to put the cheese in there, I'm sure your mozzos will be selling off the shelves, honey. Let me tell you how much it cost. It was $8.72. Oh, but actually, mine is 15 cents because I chose to be grown and add pickles. And let me tell you about the Burger King man. Girl, I pull up in the Burger King line. I'm going to drive around the line because the line is on thick daddy status. I'm like, no, this line is way too long. So I'm going to go inside. I feel like every time you go to Burger King, it's always something. This man is like complaining about his sandwich, how he added cheese, cheese and like mayonnaise or something. But the lady that was supposed to be taking my order, she went and got the manager or whatever. And they looking at each other and she telling me to hold on because she want to discuss the mayonnaise and the cheese on this man's sandwich. And I'm just like... So I stepped to the side after my order is done. I'm waiting for my order. I made a mistake by making eye contact with the Burger King man. So he looks at me and he's smiling. I smile back, but because we have to wear these masks, I feel like sometimes you can't really tell when people is smiling at you these days. I said, through my mask, you can't tell, but I'm smiling. And I'm the type of person, as you can probably tell, I'm always laughing because I always find something funny because I always think that life is a joke. <laughs> so <laughs> he said, what you said? Like, I can't hear you through your mask. So Something told me once you take this mask down, girl, he's going to want your number. Like, duh. <laughs> so I take down my mask and I said, You can't tell, but I'm smiling. And it was an older guy. You know how the older men be. Come on now. So now he's thinking that we in cahoots. It was not giving shoot your shot. It was not giving, oh, hey, daddy. It was not giving anything, but where is my mill? <sighs> Why, why? What do we do when we are uncomfortable? Obviously, I'm gonna grab my phone, I'm gonna start scrolling through everything that I have not scrolled through in several weeks and or months. I'm going through my emails that I don't care about. I'm going through old text threads. I'm deleting apps off my phone and downloading them again. So he is like smiling at me, talking about some. <laughs> After that, I'm looking for more stuff to distract me from this. So the lady who took my order, she's taking another man's order. She's gonna talk about some, oh, let me get an extra honey mustard. She gonna talk about some the honey that's gonna be an extra 10 cents. He's just looking at her like, okay, I'll take the honey mustard. Cause you know, it's Friday. So payday, extra sauces. Honey, ring me up. And then she started going on a rampage about how even here that they will still charge her extra sauce. And sometimes it'll come up to a whole 35 cents. I'm just like, bro. That was my laugh and my entertainment for today. So that is all that I have for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. As usual, I greatly, greatly appreciate it. If you enjoyed my vibes, if you enjoyed my energy, please go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Please also don't forget to leave me a like and a comment as well. Whoever you are, wherever you are, I hope you have a great day, night, whenever it is that you're watching this. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye! I'm so I think I was just caught slipping. This man just heard me do my outro at least 15 times.
and he walking down the street and he started laughing. So embarrassed.